all it out. Simon Gow hints that Cheryl will return to The X Factor next year. Cheryl's involvement in The X Factor has been a tumultuous affair. Having been hand-plucked from girls allowed by Simon Gowell to join the judging line-up in 2008, she went with the show to the US in 2011 but was fired. She returned to the UK version in 2014 to 2015 and then decided to leave again. But the 34-year-old singer is back this week as Simon's guest for judges' houses, and Simon, 57, appears to have designs on her for a permanent reinsertion to the judging panel. Asked by the Daily Star whether Simon would have her back, he replied, We'll consider it. Let's wait till the end of the show. Maybe current judges Nicole Skerzinger and Sharon Osbourne don't want to come back. Let's see what happens, I wouldn't rule anything out. Cheryl didn't say no to the possibility when asked during the same joint interview, but made it quite clear that this year only permitted a brief return to the show with her priorities lying with her six-month-old son Bear, whom she shares with Lee and Payne. I want to be with Bear a little bit longer, she said. It has just been me and him and I'm just loving being a mother at the moment. I've got time, I've got that luxury lifestyle and some mothers don't have that luxury and have to get back to work. I'm just taking it as I can but I do love the show. Should Simon's theory that Sharon and Nicole don't return, it could be that he needs to fill two seats on the panel. I'm a dad, I do it. No problem, Simon added as if opening coaxing Gerald back to the fold full time. Bring Bear to the show. Get him used to it. Cheryl has also spoken out about her difficult pregnancy and how she hated the nine months before the arrival of Baby Bear. The Ghetto Baby songstress spoke to The Sun about the struggles of her journey as she confessed, a lot of stuff went on and I just didn't enjoy it yet confess this has been the best six months with Bo Liam, 24. After many months of laying low, the stunning star has hurtled back into the spotlight and has also discussed the origins of her fame in Girls Aloud, where she confessed she felt the other girls were bitter towards her. Speaking of life since making her life from the enamored 2 to 3, she admitted she finds the entire situation amazing in her gushing interview. She said, it changes your life completely but in the most amazing way. But I've had the best six months of my life. Really? I hated being pregnant. A lot of stuff went on and I just didn't enjoy it. Cheryl and Liam confirmed their romance in February 2016 after first being linked the previous December having been reacquainted at the 2015 X Factor final. Their romance came just months after Cheryl split from ex-husband Jean Bernard Fernandez Vercini. They had wed in a beach ceremony on the private island of Mustique in July 2014. Their divorce was finalized in October 2016. She and Liam had kept coy on their relationship at first, choosing to keep fans guessing with a slew of social posts where Cheryl joked about a mystery man. As the romance rolled on and Baby Bear was welcomed to the world, the stunning star remains relatively coy over their relationship, yet they now enjoy a proudly open discussion of their love, frequently gushing about their love bubble. Aside from life as a new mum, the 2013 split of Girls Aloud, which also starred Nadine Coyle, Nicola Roberts, Kimberly Walsh, and Sarah Harding, has always been a hot topic among fans eager to know the truth. In a chat with Mirror, the stunning star hinted that share of the limelight and the microphone was to blame for the shock split. She revealed, there's always politics in any band. It just happened that I always got more vocals than everybody else, so in terms of people wanting their voice heard, that wasn't happening. And it made people very bitter. They didn't like that. Her return to the spotlight has seen Cheryl join head on Cho Simon Cowell at the judges' houses round as a consult after her on and off years as a judge. 
He added his opinion to the discussion as he made teasing comments regarding meeting Nadine to discuss a reunion while taking a swipe at her solo efforts. Simon went on, I think they should get back together. Why don't we get Nadine for dinner? The three of us and we should talk about it. I mean Nadine is not exactly storming the charts as a solo artist, is she?